Moved by compassion, Jesus took notice of the crowds. He saw that they were confused and helpless, and it was that compassion that moved Jesus to send out his disciples. Jesus instructed his disciples to pray that God would send help for the people. Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 and 38 say, He said this to his disciples, The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now, here's what's interesting. Jesus instructed his disciples to pray for God to send more workers into the spiritual harvest field. Yet those very disciples who were instructed to pray for more workers were themselves sent out as workers. At the beginning of the very next chapter, the disciples were sent out. Matthew 10, 1, Jesus called his 12 disciples together and gave them authority to cast out evil spirits and to heal every kind of disease and illness. Often when you pray, God's desire is to cause you to become an answer to prayer more than it will change anyone or anything else. Prayer will change the one who prays. Prayer is not about persuading God to change His will. No one can persuade God. Rather, prayer is about becoming an active participant in God's will. Prayer is less about receiving and more about becoming. When you live a life submitted to prayer, you become God's will in the earth. You become an answer to prayer. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.